Good morning. I just had my first... Oh, look, these are my neighbors. That guy uh, used to be around a lot more. And he's a lot nicer than his conch of a wife. He supposedly works as, as a bouncer at the casinos, and I believe it. I mean, he's a big motherfucker. But anyway, I had an unpleasant uh, encounter with a gas man right at these uh, meters right here. He came walking in from there. And you know, he was from uh, Russia or Ukraine. I recognized the accent. And he, you know, he, had, he was actually, you know, a good looking guy, really. He had like black hair and peaches and cream skin. So, um, I don't know, maybe he was from, uh, you know, the Czech Republic or something, I, I don't know. But, you know, I mean, he, he, he spoke with what to me sounded like a Russian accent or a Ukrainian accent. Anyway, it, you know, remember the other day I was just singing the praises of the gas company and how nice they are. And I even told him, uh, you know, out of all the people from the gas company that I've ever dealt with, you're the first rude one. And he said, really? And then just turned his head around. And I said, really? And I just slammed my window. Because uh, I guess he took offense that I was doing my blog. Well, tough shit, motherfucker. You're coming into my neighborhood and you're poking around in the building I live in. But it made the, the recording way too long. It went into seven and a half minutes. And uh, I didn't rec record our entire um, encounter because, look, the sidewalks are so shitty. People, have to, people in wheelchairs, even on fleets and stuff like that, they have to use the street half the time instead of the sidewalk. It's a disgrace, Villa Ragosa. You're a disgrace of, as a, you're a disgrace of a mayor. And Schwarzenegger is a disgrace of a governor. This state, this great state, is run by the biggest morons. Yeah. This guy's sc screwing uh, a news reporter for a Spanish language um, uh, uh, station. I mean, it's just ridiculous how unethical that is. And everybody's like, oh, well, he was having an affair. He was having an affair with a fucking reporter. People are just insane. I mean, I hate his guts now. So, and then, um, Arnold. I mean, it goes without saying that I think he's a walking sack of shit Nazi motherfucker. I hate him. I can't, I can't wait to hear all the stories that come out of his office when he retires because uh, all those stories that came out about the Gropenator, you know, they were true. People just didn't care and I thought, how can people not care about that behavior, that, that sadistic behavior? He was a sadist. He is a sadist. And that's who they want for their governor? I just don't know. And who were the first people he went after? The nurses, the teachers, the firemen. I think even the police. Well, I'm out of time. But I want to tell the gas company that whoever they sent over to our building today was a disgrace to the gas company. I should have told him that too. You're a disgrace to your uniform. He still thinks he's in the old country and sharing some information. I said, what are you doing? And uh, I thought you could, you know, uh, read the meters from the street and, you know, just read them like that, you know, because we don't, we don't have that. I was like, oh, okay. Um, most places now, they've got those electronic things so they can just read the meters from the street by just 
clicking a button, basically. But then, uh, I said, are you, uh, oh, you're inspecting them. And he goes, something else. You know, like, something else? What something else? Something else. You know, hey, motherfucker, this is my building. I have a right to ask. Okay, I'm getting into it again. I'm getting too long. No more circular thinking. Everybody have a great day. You know, it's very gloomy. And I just hope your stomach doesn't feel as bad as mine. Over and out.